Heroin is a growing problem in the U.S. and right here in central Illinois. WMBD is digging deeper in our community, learning about the heartache and hope for recovery. Tonight, Alyssa Paldo shares Ellen's story. Alan Vaughn is described as a fun-loving boy. In fact, there's hardly a picture of him where he's not being goofy. Now that's how loved ones will remember him, the boy who was all about the good times. It's something I always wanted to do with all of our kids and grandkids. As Wendy McCready um, thumbs through with pictures of a recent family alive, vacation, so grandkids, us. a luxury rental, so seven so days in the sun. Mm -hmm. Despite all the fun, there's a missing piece. Fishing and spending family time. Mm -hmm. My son enjoyed family time. Frozen in time, like these pictures, is May 29, 2015. At 24 years old is the day McCready's son, Alan, lost his life to drug addiction. My son started um, with pres prescription pain pills. The pills eventually leading to heroin. Things just went downhill from there. He was in and out of rehabs, in and out of jail. Um, he would have to steal from his family to support his habit. As a mother, it's, it's just really heartbreaking to, to watch your son destroy himself and his life and his family. McCready says um, she did everything she could to help her me? son. I May 29th wasn't the first time her son had overdosed. He'd OD'd before and wanted to get better, landing himself in a rehab program. Watching your son in a hospital bed with machines hooked all up to him, not knowing if he was going to live or die, very terrifying. As is common for many addicts, a relapse during the recovery process claimed his life. Look, his tolerance going. down, that last hit of heroin, and too then, strong. Uh, he had probably already been passed for at least an hour or two before um, anyone found him. He wanted so much to just stop and be normal and fall in love and get married and have children. And mm -hmm. McCready now they turning her heartbreak into hard work working to make sure this doesn't happen to another parent's child. She started an organization in Alan's memory called Fight the Fight. If I could just, you know, just save one family from this heartache and this torture. I mean, it's, it's years of, of literal hell. And it affects more than just the heroin addict. It affects um, the family, it affects the community. You know, it's not just a heroin, it's not just an addict problem, it's a family problem, it's a community problem, it's everybody's issue because it's everywhere. Now, McCready holds on to the words hanging around the house, little reminders that there is hope, and the pictures, memories of the good times with her son. McCready says, like many other parents, she didn't take the time to fully understand her son's addiction, instead getting angry and not knowing how to help him. But now she's sharing her message that there is help and hope out there. I've attached links with more information on my Facebook page and at our website, CIProud.com. The Bears